So a point that gets under my skin, and it gets under my skin as a taxpayer, as someone that's been sitting in this town for 48 years, give or take, and seeing our money go through things. Now, that's the name of the game. We have to spend to provide services. We have to undergo projects to make that those kind of things happen. Here's where I find it hard to swallow. I think I really find this hard to understand. Is why is it that after every single project we've ever done, that's been done and been executed, there's been no analysis of it after the fact to say, hey, that worked or that didn't work. And then don't make that same mistake again. I'll give you a couple of examples. Number one, we all know that the CBS splash pad is a point of contention, and I'll be the first to admit that it's easy to look in your rearview mirror and find fault. So let's understand that. When I talk about these things, I'm going to have the luxury of looking backwards as opposed to the council of the time looking forwards. Okay, so let's get that straight. Looking back, they bought that property, and there's an ATIP request you can look up to find this. They bought that property for $950 million. $950 million. Just think about that. $950 million. Now, one of the other points of contention in our, in our town is that we don't have an adequate public transit service of some degree. And, and uh, I know many seniors, people with disabilities, people with children with disabilities that just cannot get around this town, nor can they get to services that we're supposed to be providing, let alone that one down in the old Johnson property. Now, if you look at it, Cornerbrook, in and of itself, has a public transit system that, from what I can gather, is subsidized by the town to the tune of about 400000 bucks a year. Now, do the math. If we bought the property for $950 million for a park that people can't get to very easily, why wouldn't we have subsidized some sort of a busing service or something for $400 million for two years and potentially build that same kind of park or similar on the plethora of town-owned property that already exists. There's lots of property that we exist. Lots of it. Now, could it go in Gateway? Eh, I don't know. There are a ton of covenants laid down by Irving that may or may not be able to be uh, gotten around. Uh, but there are other properties. And <laughs> guess what? These properties actually may exist west of the town hall. So if you are a member of Ward 4, 3, or the western half of Ward 2, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If it's not town hall east, it doesn't seem to have as much magnitude, nor does it carry the weight that it should. So, when you look at your taxes, I don't necessarily say that every decision going forward is going to be correct, and maybe there's going to be missteps again, but really look at things that have been done in the past and analyze it. Really look at it. Like the council should be doing each time. Every time something is done and executed, there should be some sort of a, of a community forum to say, hey, I like this, I didn't like that, and incorporate that to the next one. Because you're never going to get 100% right. We all know this. But $950 million to buy property when we already own property for a park that people can't really get to very easily if you are disabled or a senior uh, it seems to be a lot. Plus, he also took existing green space and turned it into green space. There, <laughs> there are so much, so many properties in this town that are just dead space, that are just eyesores, and unused, underdeveloped, that really could have used the invigoration that was done with that particular park. It's a good idea. The park's lovely. We need one. Absolutely, we need one. And I'm glad we have one. I'm just not happy the way it was paid for or the way it was executed. That's my opinion as a taxpayer and also my opinion as a candidate for an at-large position because I don't want that happening ever again. That's got to stop. Uh, we got to look at every past project we've ever done and uh, never make those same mistakes again because costs are going through the roof. Uh, price of fuel. I don't know about you, but when I, get, when I fuel up my little Ford Focus, 
I cringe. Can you imagine what the cost of fuel is in our fleet of trucks? Yee, it's got to be horrible. And that's not getting cheaper. The costs are going up. And every time we execute a project, there's a lot of touting of... But it was a partnership between the federal government and provincial government and municipal governments. Okay, yay, so let's pretend it doesn't exist. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Let's pretend those programs go away on the next federal budget. <laughs> it can happen. All of a sudden, we don't have those resources. So let's start planning as if we didn't have the rampant support of other layers of government and see if we can do it ourselves first, then reach out. Anyway, if you pay taxes, I really want you sitting back and looking at this. I, mean, I don't want you to be super critical of the previous governments either. I don't want you to sit there and say, well, this one was wrong and that one's wrong. Because you know what? I remind you, we have the benefit of looking backwards with our full 2020 vision and understanding with full context of what it means, means uh, today. The difference is, what I'm not seeing is that at no time does anyone seem to have that wherewithal to look back and be objective while they're doing it. The next council, whether I'm on it or not, has to sit down at the end of every single project and actually determine what was well done and what was horribly done, what could have been improved, and then incorporate that next time, next time, get more efficient, get better at it, stop wasting our money, stop spending it excessively when you don't need to. $950 million for property when we already own property. I, I, I don't get it. Park's a good idea. The whole process just bugs me. Anyway, get out and vote. Whatever right you do, vote for somebody. For Make some change. Make an informed decision. And whatever you do, hold them accountable. If it's me, hold me accountable. Hold everyone accountable. It's your money. <laughs>